Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this mouse. Okay, um, I'll leave a link in the description for the smaller one and the beginner's playlist. Okay, so this is a slightly larger one. Um, all you need is some cotton yarn, a yarn needle, scissors, a 3mm hook and some stuffing. Alright, to start you want to make a slip knot. and chain two. Okay, go back into the first chain that you made and make six single crochets. Pull the tail tight and the next row, row you want to increase from 6 to 12 so two single crochets in each stitch Right, once you've finished that row, and the next row you need to increase from 12 to 18. So one single crochet in the first stitch, and one increase in the second stitch. One single crochet, one increase in the next stitch. Okay, and you just do that all the way around. Once you've increased to 18, the next row you need to increase to 24. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and one increase in the third stitch. So two single crochets and one increase for this round Okay, if I'm going too fast, you can always slow the video down just in the top corner. So once we've got to 24 single crochets, the next row we need to increase to 30. So three single crochets and one increase. Okay. 
All right, three single crochets and one increase. All right, and the next row is increase from 30 to 36. So four single crochets and an increase. Okay, so once you've finished that row and you have 36 single crochets around, you just need to place your stitch marker and do three rows of just single crochet. So one single crochet in each stitch until you have three rows above that stitch marker. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks after I've done my three rows of 36. You can see there's one, two, three rows above my last increase. So on the next row, all right, for the next row, I need to decrease from 36 to 30. So four single crochets. and a decrease so i go through the front loop of the first stitch the front loop of the second stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so four single crochets and a decrease All right, and you should end on a decrease. So now that I have 30 stitches around, I'm just gonna do one row of 
30 single crochets. So just one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so we've decreased from 36 to 30 and we've done one row of 30 single crochets. Now we need to decrease to 24. So three single crochets and a decrease. And just repeat that pattern all the way back to the stitch marker. Okay, so once you decrease down to 24, you just need to do one row of single crochet. All right, just one in each stitch again. Okay, once you've done your row of single crochets, 24 single crochets around, it'll look like this. Okay, so that's the this part of the mouse and the next row we need to decrease to 18 so it's two single crochets and a decrease for this row Right now that we have 18, we've decreased down to 18 single crochets, we just need to do two rows of 18. Right, so one single crochet in each stitch for two rows. Okay, so I'm going to go do that now. All right, so that is after two rows of 18, two rows of single crochet. Um, in the next row, we're going to make the ears. So you want to do front loop only, 
single crochet okay and then and so this is all in the one front loop so you have one single crochet one double crochet two treble crochets one double crochet all right and one single crochet okay so that is all in the one front loop then i want you to slip stitch in the next three stitches but only in the front loops so front loop only slip stitch front loop only slip stitch and front loop only slip stitch okay so i'll show you the ear again all right front loop only single crochet double crochet two treble crochets One double crochet, and one single crochet. Okay. And then I just want you to single crochet and the rest of the stitches back to the stitch marker okay just regular single crochets So at the end of this row, you should still have 18 stitches, but five of them will be in back loop stitches. Okay. All right, so we still have 18 stitches and there are five back loop stitches that we need to work into. So it's one for each ear and then um, three in between the ears. Okay, so this row we need to decrease. Okay, so we need to decrease down to 12. So we're going to do one single crochet in the back loop. So it's the back loop for this ear. Make sure you can see all of your one, two, three, four five okay so go into the first back loop 
into single crochet. Okay. Then we want, so it's one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. So go through this back loop and the next back loop. Okay. And do a decrease. So yarn over and pull through both loops. Why is that not? Yarn over and pull through. Okay. And the next one, just single crochet. And then you need to do a decrease with this back loop and the first single crochet beside the ear. So put your hook into the back loop and then front loop of that next single crochet, yarn over and pull through both loops, yarn over and pull through. Alright, it's a bit tricky but alright, okay and then just one single crochet and one decrease until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay, once you've done that row, make sure you have you have 12. You haven't done an extra decrease or anything. And then you just need to do one row of 12 single crochets around. Right? Okay, so this is how it looks after I've decreased to 12 and done one row of 12 single crochets. I've also stuffed it. So now we need to decrease from 12 to 8. So I'm going to do one single crochet and one decrease and I'm going to do that four times so that's one one single crochet and one decrease One single crochet and a decrease. The last one, one single crochet and one decrease. Okay, so just make sure you have eight. Once you've got eight single crochets, uh, the next row we need to decrease to six. So I'm going to do two single crochets. All right. One, two, and one decrease. And 
I need to do that once more. So two single crochets and a decrease. Should take you to six single crochets around. Okay. okay so now that we have six single crochets around we want to make sure we have an extra long tail cut the yarn And then I want to pull it through. Okay. Thread my needle. And then I'm just going to go through the front loops of each stitch to close it up. If you don't want to do it like this you can always just stitch it up and then attach the tail separately because this does take a while Okay, once you've done that, just pull it tight and then it'll give you your nose. Okay, and you can um, squish the stuffing down into the nose and then you want to just, sorry, just go in through the side and you want to push your needle all the way to the back. Okay. Oh. Right. So once you're here. Just insert your hook into the center. And through the hole where your yarn is. Okay. And yarn over and pull it through. Okay. And then you just want to start to chain. So this little one is a chain of about 30 and so is this one so maybe 35 or 40 it depends how much yarn you pulled through okay so that's three
So that's 35. Chain of 35. You want to skip the last one you did and make two single crochets in the next chain. So one, two, two single crochets in each chain. And that will give you the curly tail. Okay. So if this is a for a cat toy, the longer the tail, the better. So I really love the curly tails. Okay, I just have one left to do. And then I am just going to go into the center, out the other side, and make a slip stitch. Okay, pull the yarn through. And then you just want to go back in and hide the yarn. Okay, just thread it through the mouse a couple of times. Okay, so if this is a cat toy, you can add a bell or catnip. Um, if it is for a kid's toy, you could add a pink nose and eyes. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.